Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to instantly remove the Google FRP lock on your Samsung S9 and S9 Plus. So I have a Samsung S9 over here that I'll be showing you this process on. This method will also work on all other Samsung phone models as well. This is the official instant Samsung FRP unlock which is exclusively available only through TechMajesty.com. So, as you can see, the phone is FRP locked and is asking for the Google account associated with the phone. To remove the FRP lock, you will need a Windows computer and a USB cable. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. So now we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will go ahead and place an order for the FRP unlock. Alrighty. So now, go ahead and write the make and model of your phone. I have the Samsung Galaxy S9, so that's what I'll be writing here. After that, go ahead and click on the Add to Cart button and go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within one hour informing you that we are ready to begin the unlocking process for your phone. The email will look like this and say Order Enclosed. The email will contain a download link to the USB redirector, which is basically a software our technicians will use to access your phone and complete the unlock. Our technician will be on a live chat with you during the entire unlock process. The whole process will only take about 5 to 10 minutes for our technicians to finish unlocking your phone. All you have to do is plug in your phone to the computer and we take care of the rest. Now I'll show you step by step how the process will work. So this is the USB redirector software I was talking about earlier. The first step will be where our technician will ask you to plug in your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Then step 2 and 3 will involve the technician working on your phone's unlock. Then the final and fourth step will be the FRP Google account being permanently and completely removed from the phone. Now you can use the phone as you normally would. Alright, so now I will do the final part of the process to remove the FRP lock. I have my phone connected to the computer so give me a second while I go ahead and do this. Alright, so now that I've done that, now the only thing left to do is reboot the phone to complete the unlock process. So let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this phone back on. Now this is the AT&T version of the phone, but this can be done on any version of the phone from any carrier. Alright, so now we will go through the normal setup process, but this time you will notice there will be no FRP log preventing us from accessing the phone. As you can see, it's not asking for any Google account information anymore. So let's go ahead and go ahead and skip this part. As you can see, we can now fully access the phone. So guys, it's as simple as that to remove the FRP lock on your Samsung phone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.